Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We're going to be talking about today in this video a wired background or backdrop set that specifically as an accessories holder. Many of you may have seen this on Facebook or in some of the some of the posts online. And this is a Hong Kong company. I met up with the guy and I picked one of these up. And I never talk about packaging in any of my videos because it's, to me, quite boring. But I couldn't believe, actually, this packaging. I have to show you. This is bought in Hong Kong. It comes with a shipper, which you never see. So it comes with a shipper. And then you have this black embossed logo setup, which is, it feels like, it comes with a, this cellophane wrapper as well. It feels high quality. Then you open it again, you get more foam padding, and then on top of that, you get some more wrapping, and the base underneath has got more wrapping, and also stickers to protect the cover. Now, I asked the guy, did you design the wrapping and the packaging for this? And he went, no, nope, I gave that to a guy who, um, who designs packaging. And I said, is he over the top? What's his story? And he said that, He's actually a collector himself, and he said that one of the biggest pet hates that he gets is when he buys something and they ship it to him, and it's damaged in transit. So that would explain why there's so much foam padding and packaging, etc. So I'm going to show you when I've got all this set up. Um, just so you guys are aware, this is by miniworlds.com. I'll put their Facebook page and their website. Um, it's a new company, they're selling this for around 130 US dollars shipped. It doesn't fit in a debt off and I'll show you that a little bit later. On top of that as well, they'll be doing a few more products, including one that will fit into a debt off. It will definitely fit into a debt off. Probably coming out the beginning of next year. Just check their website and their Facebook page for regular updates for what they're doing and releasing soon. I think. The guys who have a lot of accessories for their figures, whether it's military, the Iron Man figures, those figures that come with a lot of stuff they don't necessarily want the guy to hold or it's difficult to display, I think this is a great setup. So let's check it out when I've got it all displayed out. So this is the kit, it's very basic. I actually bought an extra set of clips that I can put more accessories on here. These are the standard set of clips you get. This is the wide backdrop. It looks like the gantry, for those who are familiar, this looks like the gantry setup, and it's a double-sided background. You have a plain black on one side and the gantry setup on the other. I'm gonna be using the plain black because I'll be doing a slightly different setup than straightforward gantry, but you can see it's still got this protective film on there to prevent any scratches in transit or transportation and handling. So let's get this all set up so you know roughly what it looks like. Okay, so this is just the setup I've done. Obviously it's not 100% complete. I've just got a few of the synthetic exclusive humans from, T from 1000 Toys working on a Mark II with the wide backdrop at the back with some weapons, some tools, etc. So I'm gonna take you a little bit closer so you can see what's going on there. So, just to explain, this is, this is held up by hooks and little prongs. So you can fit, obviously, weapons, guns. I don't have that many of them. So I've just given you a couple of examples there. You can fit the helmets on there with the clips as well. And you can fit some of the chest armors as well. There's the Mark III accessory on the gauntlets on the forearm. The wrist repulsars and the moving cross, a couple of other customs as well. For those who know my channel, I like to play about with dioramas, make the backdrops a little bit different, a little bit unique as well. So that's pretty much it. It's a very basic setup. Just, I think, very nice for display. Now, just to give you guys an idea of the size, this first batch will not fit in a debt off. The reason being it's pretty tall. It's about 18 inches high. So this is for an external display. The next batch, as I've said, will probably be beginning of the year 
and that will be available for display. And this is about the width of the black box is about 24 inches, so about two, two feet wide there. So this is quite a large display setup if you are planning on using something like this as a diorama. But nonetheless, it's a really nice overall look, very different. You can have it very organized. And this is actually how I like it, to display these little items that you probably will get and they just sit in your figure box. And that's probably the thing that I get annoyed about is that I can't really put those accessories I have on display. But with this, I can. A couple of points of wor warning. Number one, it's quite fiddly. So it'll take you a little bit of time setting up how you like it, how to organize it, etc. Second point is, because the wire is a little bit fragile, you may accidentally knock something off, which will knock something else in turn to fall down. So just be aware of that and please be careful when you are setting something like this up. Other than that, a really nice overall accessory backdrop to actually display all those items that you do get with Hot Toys or anything else that you have on display. So I'm really happy I've got this. I might pick up one or two more depending on how many accessories I want to display. Hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Other than that, catch you all at the next video and thanks for watching.